Hey guys, welcome back to Faith for Keto Kitchen where we make keto delicious. So today is Faith for Keto Kitchen Test Kitchen. I'm going to try something new and something that one of my friends actually uh, DM me and then someone else actually uh, sent me an email asking me to make, if I can make something like an Oreo cookie. It was actually a two-step cookie. I guess you use Oreos and then you crumble them up and then add uh, something else to other ingredients to it. And I'm like, okay, uh, well, first of all, I gotta figure out how to make a keto Oreo cookie and make it taste good. So, I ordered some, something is called uh, black cocoa powder, Dutch black cocoa powder. That's where the Oreo cookie gets that dark, rich um, color. So, what I'll tell you is what, I came up with and we're going to test it to see if it works out okay so what I thought to do was to put one stick of butter and I let it kind of get softened up in the bowl uh, we have a fourth cup of that black cocoa powder one cup of almond flour a fourth cup of coconut flour one tablespoon of psyllium husk and you can get that on Amazon just like where I got the uh, black cocoa powder uh, I'm going to try to do like a fourth cup of uh, erythritol, powdered erythritol, and I noticed that I didn't have any um, more granulated erythritol available, so we're going to have two tablespoons of granulated, two tablespoons of powdered erythritol. We're going to go with that, hopefully it works out fine. A pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla, and a teaspoon, I think I'm going to go with a teaspoon of stevia. Um, give or take, because um, when you use stevia and erythritol together, it makes it balanced, so it's not so uh, hyper, uh, this hypersensitive taste that erythritol gives, almost like menthol-y kind of taste. So we're going to balance those out, so that's a good tip to use both together if you want to get that more of a sugar taste. And one teaspoon of baking powder. So we're going to try that. Then we'll try our filling in a second. So that's what we're going to start off with, guys. So that's what I have in this bowl right here. All the powdered ingredients or the dry ingredients. And I'm going to just mix all that together. Look how black that cocoa is, guys. That's like really black. When they say black Dutch cocoa, they mean black Dutch cocoa. But it smells so rich, you know. So hopefully you got the proper balance in that. So we're going to stir this up. So we're going to add it to our butter. And I'm thinking, I was going to use an egg, I'm thinking, but I want to try this style first. Almost like a, um, this style is more like a um, shortbread cookie style, so it should get crunchy. If I add the egg, it might add a little bit too much moisture to it. So we're going to try it this way first, and hey, we might have to do another test kitchen to see. Well, I'm hoping that this works out, period, you know, so that we don't have to do it again. So we're going to try it this way. So let me get this all mixed up and stop talking. So as you guys know, I like to make sure I blend all the dry ingredients first because you don't want any like clumps of the uh, baking powder and stuff like that. Plus too, with this new Dutch powder, I'm not sure how the Dutch cocoa will blend well. So we're gonna put that in, put all that in there. Let's move some of this out of the way. I'm gonna use the electric blender now, the hand mixer because I want to make sure it's well incorporated. And if it's too dry, we may have to add a little bit of, or maybe an egg. I'm not sure yet, we're gonna see. Hopefully it's just perfectly moist. And this right here is a teaspoon of vanilla. And I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the teaspoon of liquid stevia. And this is now brand liquid stevia. And I found this one is really good. And you get a lot. It's, I mean, I had this one and it's still almost full. And I bake a lot. And I have this for like about at least two months now, guys. And I do use it often. So go for it. This is a uh, eight ounce, eight fluid ounces. I got it on Amazon. So it's really good. So let's blend this up. So it looks like it got like a cookie dough texture. Let's see. Oh yeah. So yeah, you want to get it nice and stiff like that. See, it's nice and stiff. Ooh, it's black. Now with this, uh, I would say, I wouldn't roll it out with my hands too much, but since this is a test kitchen, I think I'm just going to use a cookie scoop just to get some round, um, just some round shapes or whatever like that. But I was just figuring, let's just test it. See how it comes out. Let me unplug. I have my uh, cookie scoop, of course. So we're going to see how many of these make. And let's see, I don't want to make them too, too big though. 
but they may be larger than the cookie, uh, Oreo cookie, of course, because I'm using a cookie scoop, and I'm sure uh, Oreo uses a spe specific size. But I think this will work, since these are homemade Oreo cookies. So I'm going to punch all these out, give it some room just in case they spread, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so it made 12, and there's probably at least one more cookie in there. So I'm gonna just stick it on here on the tray, and um, so that'll be 13 cookies, okay? So I kinda wanna make them round shaped and kinda perfect, I don't know, I, I'm gonna fix it. I think I am going to, let's see. I'm gonna make them round, just to give them a little more shape, guys. So yeah. I would suggest to use gloves when you do this though. So <laughs> yeah, don't be like Rosemary and be bold like this and using your hands because it's gonna stain a little bit, but I think that it washes off okay. So I'm gonna roll these all up. Okay, all right, so I, See, look guys, but it washes off. So I'm going to go wash my hands and I'll be right back. All right, so what I decided to do is get a wet paper towel and a measuring cup, about a half a cup measuring cup. And this way, if I, when I smash down the cookie like this, it won't stick, hopefully. Let's, hopefully, this is a test kitchen, guys, because you know how that goes. Yeah, perfectly. So then I'll wipe it and just smash. Like Hulk smash. In theory, this would work. Let's see, I'm gonna twist it, see if it helps with some. I'm just trying to get a nice round cookie. Oops. Let's try that again. Take two. No, <laughs> let's try it again, guys. We're gonna put it on there. And it does get your hands a little dark. Maybe if I just kind of pat it. Twist, maybe if I twist. Oh yeah, okay, so twist, guys. Twist and push, that worked better. So, and wipe it off with a wet towel. So I'm gonna go through and twist. Yeah. And yeah, and twist, kind of like a quick twist and mash, okay? Okay, so I found that if I push it down, twist, twist real fast, just kind of pound it a little bit, it works. That's a better method, so just wanted to share that with you real fast. Push it and kind of twist. Now, of course, you can just put it and just push it with your hands. But I'm all about, I want to make sure it look cute and look pretty. So, but you can push it with your hands, guys. All right, so that is our 13 Oreo cookies. I'm going to try to put it, I'm going to, hold on. I grab a paper. So I decided to put it in the oven at 350 degrees. And probably, we're going to start at at least 8 to 10 minutes. See if it gets, you got to keep an eye on it because the thing is, it's already dark. But you can kind of keep an eye on it if you kind of smell it. You don't want it to smell like it's burning, of course, because we don't want to burn cookies. But just like when you bake any other cookies, guys, just keep an eye on it. And today we're going to start with 8 minutes. And then I'll let you know when I come back how long it took, okay? So yeah, be right back. All right, so I got the cookies out of the oven and they're cooling right now. So in the meantime, we're gonna make our cream filling. So if, I'm trying to make it as close as possible to uh, Oreo cream filling. So I thought maybe we'd use maybe about uh, four ounces of cream cheese. I let it sit out and um, I have eight ounces here, but I'm gonna see how the texture and taste is first. And then we'll just add more if we need to. And I'm thinking about one fourth cup of powdered erythritol. Now, like I said, guys, you can always add more as you go along. And of course, we want that little vanilla flavor. So we'll do a half a teaspoon of vanilla in there. And I thought maybe a fourth cup of butter, because butter makes everything better. So I'm gonna blend it up and let's see how it goes. Oops. Okay, and you know what happened? My blender unplugged. Hold on, let me plug that in. I'll be right back. All right, so let's go, we're gonna blend out all together. Let's give it a taste, Let's see? And I didn't put any liquid stevia in there just yet because I wanted to see how it would taste without it first, okay? Let's see. And of course you can have that sweet, um, this will probably be a little more buttery taste. Let me see. That's 
good. I don't know if it's sweet enough. We're gonna add like five drops of liquid stevia. It kind of belts that out. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I wanted to have that, you know how Oreo cookies have that um, cream filling? It's super, super sweet, really, technically. But um, I don't want it to be over sweet. I want it to have a perfect balance with the cookie. So let's see how it tastes now. And of course, you can do it to your sweetness level if you try this recipe. And if you try it, let me know. And if you've made Oreo cookies before, let me know too. I love your opinion on it. That's actually really good. And that little bit more liquid stevia made it perfect. Mm. So that's really delicious. Okay, so let me grab the cookies and then we're gonna fill a few and I'll let you know how it tastes together. Okay guys, so I got our cookies nice and cool. So you want them to cool so they can at least uh, solidify and get nice and crunchy, and they did. And we have our whipped cream right here. Well, our, our Oreo cream filling, okay? So what I'll just fill it up and we'll just see what it tastes like. I'm gonna get a nice amount in there. Mm. Guys, it smells just like an Oreo cookie. Wow. And this cream filling is so delicious. Let's see. Let's put one on. Mmm. Look at that. Just like an Oreo cookie. Let's try it. Ooh. Mmm. Man. These are delicious. They're crunchy. And that cream in the middle is just so, it has that buttery cream cheese blend, so it's like beautiful on the tongue. Mm. And the cookie tastes really chocolatey. I mean, it's really like an Oreo cookie, except for it's keto -fied. So guys, definitely give this one a try. Let me know if you make it. Comment below. Tell me if you like it, because I know you will. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And definitely subscribe to the channel, be a part of the family, and hit the notification bell so that when I get a new video up for you, you'll be notified. So, God bless you guys. Thank you for watching and have an amazing week. Bye, guys.